Uh, there's yeah, there's the president of Jack Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Jack Shit. There's terrorists that create like demon flare ups. Oh, you mean the homo demons? Yeah, the homo I demons. Actually, what yeah. the team is called? Is that what it was? I thought it's it was the homo demons. Is this yeah. real? real? I like yes. all of this is this real. Is real. Half watch the trailer. Oh, this is all in the trailer. I watched it like three times. I don't like this at all. It's very it feels like a joke, and I don't like it. It does feel like a joke. I showed it to my wife last night at midnight, and she was just like, "What have you done to me before I slumber?" There's a there is. Also, a ladder which you take a out of your pocket. A big ladder you can take out of your pocket to like climb stuff. Ladder. There's uh, like a the, rope. There's a briefcase just, you hit people with. He's carrying so much. He's, his briefcase gets knocked out of his hand and he has to get his briefcase wait, wait, wait. and you, hit people so with it. If you he's notice, a motorcycle. Yeah, the halibut. Cool. The wheelie, the brief, of course. The briefcase gets knocked wheelie off. Oh. And then there's like a ghost image of where the briefcase was. Yeah, and Did it glows. You see that? Uh, it's now the United Cities of America and yeah. the president's in a wheelchair and she's dying. the president of Jack Shit. President of Jack Shit. Yeah. That can't be real. That yeah. can't be real. It's a ruse. It can't be real. Then, oh, you haven't played Metal Gear. And, and, oh, it's real. And then, I'm uh, upset. And How is PT so good and so... so uh, PT is the thing he has been involved with that I am the least interested in. See, I think PT is all right. Oh, that's it's, wild. It, it's interesting, but Metal Gear is the most perfect thing. It's because he didn't created. get to name anything in PT. That's the problem. Nothing it's naming things. sounds yes. coherent in this game. Yeah, nothing sounds... No, no Metal like, Gear Like, I am on board with this. I want a weird art game. Yeah. But I want a weird art game that's not weird for the sake of being weird. No, I'll, that's I'll the beauty this. of Metal Gear and Kojima is that, yes, on the surface, Metal Gear is extremely weird, but it does all actually, like, things don't just exist in Metal Gear for no reason. Like, they mm. all, all the story mm. threads get tied up in four. Mm. It does, it's crazy as right. hell, but okay. it all makes so sense. You're being universe. outnumbered on this one, Dan. Uh, Dan look, I, Dan, you're great. Hold on, me one I, question about Metal Gear. Can yeah, I offer, uh, everybody wants what? to object to Dan right now. Can I offer a slightly more measured take? Yes. Okay. Yeah. A lot, do our a lot of the ridiculousness in Kojima games is rooted in a deep, abiding sense of irony. At the same time, that makes it no less fucking stupid on its surface. Okay. It is severely up its own ass, but also his style is super goofy and dumb and funny. Okay, frequently. interesting. I yeah. think I have to readjust my expectations from PT, which I yes. think is pretty sincere. I think it is unusual in some ways, but I think it works for the horror aesthetic. I think it works for how you put together that story. You have to come to the pieces on your own, but they all make sense in the end, right? Yeah, right. And like there are some ends you got to kind of tie sure. yourself to get him not loose, I mean, but I'm going into this knowing it maybe has a sense of humor and also knowing um, it's go not going to make any fucking sense. No, no, it, that's the thing that you're wrong about because you talk about <laughs> PT. Don't, don't make it. Don't make any. Claims we haven't you can't, played it yet. I, I don't know if I'm wrong. But about you're saying that. how like PT has all these things that kind of tie together at the end and everything. Imagine that, but if it was told over the span of like when was the MSX Metal Gear like 1987 or something? Okay, but that all sounds the way to five, like a nightmare all... to me that I have to play a game for what 20 years to. Oh, I played Metal Gear Solid 2 probably like four times in its entirety before I understood what that the fuck was happening at the end of it. That sounds terrible. It's beautiful. Here's, I'm okay with that in a two-hour game. But that sounds... It yeah, I, I... Again, I am on board with Death Stranding. I appreciate it's going to be weird. I'm just saying I need to adjust my expectations from PT, which I think is a masterpiece. I, but you I also, would not... I, 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 here's the thing. Okay. PT was never intended to be a whole experience. No, no. absolutely. PT was a tease for a Silent Hills game that I'm going to tell you right now would have been ten times as batshit as probably <laughs> yes. any yeah. of the things going on I, I that think we are it, seeing. Yeah. I think if that game had come out. It's so because he, of the self-contained nature of that thing that I think he was not able to unleash the full fury of his si silliness. I, I, it, is, I, it is amazing to me that you say you played Metal Gear 2 ten times before you understood it, and then told me you're so glad Kojima doesn't put politics into his games. Yeah, that's bizarre. I so. didn't say I'm so glad he doesn't. I said okay. I didn't know he did. <laughs> Which, <laughs> that's oh worse. God. That's you. worse. Oh well, now I know nukes. You played it ten times. I know like, politics oh, are involved with it. nukes and governments and stuff, but I, I never thought of Metal Gear Solid as a political series. Yeah. I don't know. Anti-nuclear series. <laughs> it's about soldiers. Go. It's about soldiers and nukes. It's not about politics. This, this reminds me of a tweet I read. Recently. It's about war. It's about not about politics. Awareness. You know what? Uh, what's the difference? And the internet. It's about the internet. The and White memes. House literally has ghosts in the wall going la 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 la. No, it's not literal. The Patriots are not literal ghosts in the walls of the White House. The president is in. Wow. Is in, I love the seeing you, Dan. The ruin this podcast from the inside out. <laughs> so no, you're you're taking it. Uh, no, he is a political figure. Yeah. He's the President. Well, of course. They're yes. going to take over. That's how the governments get taken over. No, Solidus was against the Patriots. The <laughs> Patriots weren't politics. Plot. The Patriots were crazy Dan, internet people. Dan, the thing that makes this most galling is, not, AI. 
is not the idea that you could look at a game that certainly has politics and say like, oh, I don't, I didn't see that, I didn't read it. It's that you somehow managed to do that in the one game designer who straight up says, <laughs> yes, I have politics. He's I mean, the only okay. one Here's who the doesn't thing. say, <laughs> all right, all right. oh, wait, there's no politics in my right. games. Like he's literally the one that embraces that. I will clarify. Whether you agree with them or not, whether you think they're good or not, at least he's not trying to shy away from this notion that he has political beliefs and they are represented in these video games. <laughs> Let me and clarify. It is so blatantly obvious. No, too. let me clarify. I understand politics are involved in that. Mm-hmm. Yes, several presidents are characters uh-huh. in the Metal Gear universe. There uh-huh. are real countries like the USA and Russia <laughs> and China and their governments that are involved. And there are nuclear things and relations between countries. I'm sure politics are, you know, obviously tied up with how countries mm-hmm. talk to each other. But <laughs> oh Jesus. I always saw Metal Gear Jesus. as a. It was more about nuclear stuff and war and soldiers still, and genetics. Yes, I know, but not in the way of like, I oh, think we built wait, a wall or whatever. I, I, I just don't think you understand what we're saying. So, okay, so saying. you guess I so, don't. So when, you, when he says, when, when Kojima yes. says people have created walls. I see what you're saying because there's a whole wall thing going on now in politics and in the real world, but I didn't uh-huh. put that together when but, I right, put that. Right. The, the great irony, of course, you saying how you understand the story so well <laughs> front to back. Saying. Ask me any and question you about say, the war you're solid. You, you, you say, does the bee you, guy get the bees? You say, uh, he, uh, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. It was no, the no, again? Stop. 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 Actually, I want to go back to Abby's actually, point. Okay. PT, I agree with you. PT's great. He's not horrible things Shut up, you two. Uh, PT is great. P- I would argue PT is the most lucid thing that's ever come okay, out. Okay, so also, I think. Okay, no, I, I'm right, talking now, right, Dan, right, and then you, you can yes, talk. Yeah, Back to how much I like stick. PC. Yeah, okay. PT, PT, but, whatever. <laughs> for me right now, I think I have to realize that PT, because of its nature of being a trailer, was probably highly edited in a way that I think I like. I <laughs> yeah. think. I would probably appreciate his work more if it was as edited. Granted, I haven't played much of his other stuff. I'm going into Death Stranding with an open mind. Sure. I love weird art. I hope this is a fucking high art game. We don't have enough of them. And I'm down for it. I am down for it. But also, I think maybe he could use someone to edit his so insane. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, about PT. No, while we're talking no, about PT. No, I we're having a conversation. PT. Okay. I want to talk about a PT thing. <laughs> Okay, Christ. Abby. So you keep bringing up PT, and I think the thing well, is, you need Jeff to... brought it up there, but yes, no, no. But I know you obviously like PT a yes, lot, yes, very much so. I don't know if I would equate PT with Kojima stuff. He was definitely involved with <sighs> PT, but I remember when it was first presented, it was like, oh, Guillermo del Toro and yes, Hideo Kojima and stuff like this. I don't see PT as a Kojima thing. Uh, it was he was involved, yes, but when I think Kojima, I think. Metal Gear Solid, I think uh, Baktai, the sun is in your hand, um, but mainly Metal Gear. Uh, snatcher, it, Snatcher. Um, has it ever occurred to you that maybe you just should? I mean, sure, <laughs> Hideo Kojima was involved, but I don't think, I would like, not put any expectations on his work based on PT, because it seemed like more people were involved there, whereas Death Stranding is Kojima Unleashed, like this is his thing, and he's got a million dollars, well, way more than that. I, I agree okay. with you. I, I think yeah. PT yeah. feels like the extension. Okay. Okay. And Abby, and I agree with you. I think if Silent Hills did come to fruition, I think it would have been a much more grounded thing, perhaps. Right. People would be ruining his vision. No, no, because uh, I, um, I don't know, maybe Guillermo del Toro's involvement would have perhaps reeled him in a little I'm bit. I'm sure he's or a good the filmmaker. Opposite. Or the opposite, but like, yeah, who knows? We can only wonder and, you know, be... I, uh, look, I, think- I, I am excited for it, genuinely so. I want to play it. I don't think I've really played many weirdo high art video games that aren't like weird little indie things like kids, playables kids. Remember we're talking about that five years ago? Um, what, wait, what a... I'm not trying to make, an ex- make a, mm-hmm. a case here, but let's... High art, death art. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess maybe avant-garde. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be high, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you know, just... You know. A, little, uh, yeah, a little outside, outside. the box. Yeah, yeah, you you know, that go. is yes, more what yeah. I'm talking about. Non-traditional. Yes. Non-traditional, the avant-garde, uh-huh. uh, couture. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's not couture, but... Uh-huh. No. Um, look, I've been talking about Bjork for four uh-huh. weeks, okay? Uh-huh. Anyway, this is the Bjork of video games right here. Well, okay. how dare you? No, it's great. It looks interesting. The trailer I'm, looks I'm interesting. I'm curious yeah. about it. It's the super more I hear about it, different, right? It, so it seems nuts. It looks like it. I'm more excited about this than I would be if he was making a new Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Game. 
because oh, yeah. that story has been told oh, from yeah. every different yes. angle. I have oh, no don't interest to, in Don't start gear. making sense now, okay? No, yeah, we don't need to fill in any more gaps about, like, oh, here's when Big Boss ate a sandwich in 1978. Don't, don't try and walk it back, okay? <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I, honestly, like, I think this is way more interesting. Him unleashed with no one saying no to him, and he has a, infinite money, is the best case scenario. Yeah, I'm going to go into it with a good sense of humor. You it should have very yes, funny that things. That is the way to go. I'm sure it will be very funny. It, it is going to be a trip. Yes, you know it is. I showing Stacy it, and she had seen the other trailers, which are so much. I mean, this is by comparison a very like lucid almost <laughs> kind of thing. Like I. I feel like I know a lot more now, right? I mean, sure. that's obvious. Uh, we know it's set in the real it's world. It's one of those things where I feel like I know a lot more, but it presents more questions than answers. It does, but I also like kind of have a vibe of yeah. what's going on. Why? What's the bridge, baby? Why are there World War One tanks? It just Why seems is like Mads Mikkelsen the, like trapped going in on where, like, apocalypse now. Why did he light a cigarette like, in the sky? The Why babies, he blew it at one point? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't it, it also like just, the babies are the future, right? And he's gonna like know. bring them to the bridge yeah, are place. The future? The baby can go to the moon. Also, just became much more complex. They're just sending a bunch of fetuses to the moon. What's the problem? Look, what's the fucking problem? Here's what it boils down to. (laughs) What? We can we can sit here, we can speculate, we can try and 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 pick (laughs) these various details apart. The point is, we're all gonna fucking play the thing. Yeah, no, I've said it five times. I'm excited for it. And guess what? We're gonna get to on November eighth because that's the one thing we didn't actually get to is that they actually announced a release date for this thing. Which is Death Stranding is the game we're talking about, by the way. (laughs) And it's got a collector's edition with a weird like it's got a baby. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's it's him holding a, a, a. an unborn baby uh, is weird. Like the pictures of him. Have you seen the pictures of? Oh, I've seen them. Yeah, yeah, uh, they are. And that's the kind of, I feel like the sense of humor he has. Of like, I feel like he walks away and is like, he knows that you know that like this is all ridiculous. Right? Okay, this, that's yes. okay. Good to know. Yeah. This is a good. This has been a good conversation okay. for me. This okay. has been good. Great. I'm going in with a sense of humor. My perspective is shifted. Makes PT is still a masterpiece, and I think he sometimes needs an editor. From what it sounds like. Do you have any questions about Metal Gear? Solid? I d- I, I want to know nothing about Metal Gear, but I, thank you. I think he what he needs is a psychiatrist to help him with his mom stuff. Because boy, there are some Ooh, weird really? mom complex shit. Uh, I'm trying to think wow. in Metal Gear, what mom stuff was there? Otakon's. O- 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 there's a lot of dead, there's right? a lot of weird stuff with women characters in that series, like uh, Big Boss mom stuff. Oh, Big Mama e- Eva. Yeah, um, there wasn't a I whole lot of mom. Oh, the, the boss, the I, boss. I would say Kojima's got a lot of issues. You could psycho, you could psychoanalyze yes. from those games with a lot of different. things. Yes, it's not just one thing or another. <laughs> no, but that's, he I hates mean, nukes. He is also literally named a character in this character in this game, Mama. Huh. Well, and well, characters is named Alex, Mama. He's made a, made a, named a character Hard Man. What is a Heart <laughs> Man? He's not a Mega Man villain. He's Heart Man. Sorry. And there's Die, die Hard Man. Oh, yeah, hard sorry. Man. There's Heart Man. Heart, there's Heart Man. There's Die Hard Man. And then there's Fragile and Mama. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, like, yeah, there's a. Uh, and Sam Briggs, Redis, or whatever. Bridges. Bridges, yeah. I don't know. We Why is everyone going to gonna smoke, though? It's, there, that's been a thing. That was really? an item. It's, yeah. how, it's how you see the, the lasers. It's how you see the lasers. It's how you get yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of the many Smoke. fetishes that he is projecting onto Mads Mikkelsen. The Terminator Smoke. Vietnam demons. Those look awesome. The legs yeah, on fire. Look cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I don't know why you light the fire before you walk through it, but whatever. Yeah, it's just all... Why is there red crying? <laughs> Bad <laughs> stuff's happening in this world. It's not a happy time. There's probably nukes. It's not a happy time. Well, he hates nukes. He got rid of them. Anyway, I'm just glad he's not going political. Yeah. I'm stoked. I'm I more stoked. You know what? I'm oh more stoked God. now than I was when I saw that weird, you know, beach shit. I mean, I know the beach stuff is a thing. Oh, oh I was with way more on board with that. Things. Yeah, but like yeah. that, I, the imagery of that I dug. But it, you know, again, it was sort of like, oh, I'm lost. But now I feel good. I, I mean, oh yeah. I was always gonna play oh, really? this. Kind of I, thing, I hope this but... plays okay. I, yeah, I'm yeah, interested in the movie, totally. that, uh, the Death Stranding movie. Yeah. I just hope in between that. Um, there's fun stuff to do. Yeah. And, I, and I'm genuinely shocked oh. that it's coming out this year. Yeah, yeah I really yeah. thought they'd push it to next-gen consoles. If, 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 a week ago, if you asked me, I would have bet a lot of money about next year. I look forward to playing the remastered version on a PS5 someday. Uh, okay. <laughs> in in 20, I think 2021. All these 25% cutscenes, right? more Redis. <laughs> yeah. More crying. <sighs> the hard man is even, even harder. Uh, uh, I'm so excited. What a video game. I, I haven't even touched it, it yet. It is easily the most excited I've been about five a video months, game Five months, Dan. Can years. you wait? Uh, yes. I thought I was going to have to wait longer. So I can't believe five months. That's unbelievable. It's, it's, wow. it's refreshing that there is an unknown quantity yeah. floating around out there. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the more I see of this, the more it doesn't feel like a traditional by the numbers anything. Yeah. So that's interesting totally. to me. Which is going to be a real bummer when we find out it's an extremely by the numbers <laughs> third person yeah. action okay. game. Third person cover shooter. Yeah. Uh, it, with the ladder. It's, it's wild. The fact yeah. that this is coming out before... 
I mean, I assume before The Last of Us 2 is is pretty wild. Yeah, I'm not getting the vibe that Last of Us 2 or Ghost of Tsushima are coming any time in the immediate future. I want Last of Us 2 real bad. I feel like we'll see those early next year. That's just, yeah, I I think that's the rumor, and I I would would tend to lean in that direction as well. And Animal Crossing's this year? That's all all politics, as far as we know. Animal Crossing. Oh, I'm sure. It's a very fine. political game, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a slider. That's why I like Ooh, it. You listen to his song. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Vietnam, he got pulled from YouTube. It's Anti-Vietnam yeah. <laughs> rags going on. I mean, it's much more of like a local <laughs> politic, but yeah. Right, right. right. Yeah, Neighborhood, yeah, like yeah. city level, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we stuff. did a, uh, a real bad job at that. So. Yeah. I just want to talk about Metal Gear more. Okay. Do you? Well, yes. No, you don't. I'm pretty sure we. Really everyone do. in the office is not going to get weird at me for yelling anymore. It's all you guys, motherfucker. No, you've done like yeah. seven seasons of series <laughs> just talking about Metal Gear on this website. It's not enough. It really isn't. <laughs>